Greetings, I am Herbert Erpaderp, and today we're going to have a look at the entries in the recently ended group build that we had over on my Discord server. The subject of the group build was national vehicles, that is vehicles used by your home country, but not necessarily designed or built by that country. You can't take part in that group build because it's ended, however, a new one will start in the near future, most likely at the beginning of the new year. If you want to participate, and even help to choose the next subject, head on over to the Discord server, the link for which is in the description, and check out the group build section. Before we get to the entries of the national group build, I would like to say thank you to Monol for both being the group buildsman, taking care of the whole thing, and for collecting up the images and sending them to me. It's very helpful and makes these videos a lot easier to make. Ok, let's check out the models. These are in alphabetical order because why not? Corned Beef entered this Lockheed Constellation Super G, painted up for Qantas, which is an Australian airline. It stands for Queensland and Northern Territory Aerial Service. I think this is an interesting looking aircraft, mostly in the triple tail fin. That looks unusual and cool. This is a 144th scale model by Academy, and as you can see it's been built and painted rather nicely. Digital Rockets entry is a very nice looking Swedish J28C, which is a Swedish licensed version of the de Havilland DH-115 Mark 55, which is a name that just rolls right off the tongue. I think this is an interesting looking plane. It's not unlike the Lockheed Lightning with the twin tail thing. An interesting note is that while J28C is a designation for fighter planes, this actually served as a trainer aircraft for the majority of its time in the Swedish Air Force. The model is a 172nd scale airfix kit. Graf Pudding submitted this Fokkerwolf FW190 F8. Please insert hilarious impolite misunderstanding of the word Fokkerwolf here. I don't know a whole lot about planes as you probably know, so I don't have any cool facts about this one, other than it's a really nicely done model. Not surprising though, Graf Pudding does good work. The model is a 172nd scale kit from Ravel. Jerry's entry is a small plane, an RWD-5, which is a Polish aircraft from the 30s. I understand that one of these was the smallest aircraft to cross the Atlantic, and that's pretty cool. And so is this model. The red and silver colour scheme is quite attention getting. I like it. The kit is in 172nd scale, from ZTS Plastic, spelled with a YK instead of an IC. I believe this is a Polish manufacturer, so that makes sense. John Crosby's entry is not a plane. The only ground vehicle entered in this group build. It's a Canadian military pattern 15 quit or 100 weight truck. This looks like a well used vehicle that has seen some stuff. This, like John, is a British vehicle, uh, not that John is a vehicle, but you know what I mean. So don't let the Canadian part in the name fool you. I like this, it's a great model and it's made by Rubicon in 28mm or 156 scale. Monol, the group buildsman's entry, is this excellent BF109 G4. This paint scheme is entirely fictional, though it is intended to resemble a late war camouflage. If that information wasn't included in the notes I totally would never have known. I think it looks amazing. Monol is consistently great at what he does, so that's not shocking at all. This is an Edward model in 148th scale. Musay's entry is another non-plane, though it is still a flying vehicle, I suppose. It's the Atlas LV-3B, carrying Friendship 7. This is the vehicle in which John Glenn orbited the Earth. Musay did write a nice paragraph about this, but it was quite long and in the interest of time, I've skipped it. But I want to say that it was appreciated. This is an awesome little model and in one of these pictures it's shown with a 30 caliber round for scale, as well as a coke bottle. The kit is by Atlantis Models and is in 110th scale, which seems like a bit of an odd scale to me, however it is nicely done. That Dutch guy submitted another flying machine, though this one is of the Whirlybird variety. This is an Apache 64D. This helicopter is wearing an interesting paint scheme. It belongs to the solo display team that flew to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the Netherlands Air Force, thus the 100 below the main rotor. Very cool. This model is in 148th scale by Ravel. And that's all of the entries that I'm aware of. 
I hope everybody enjoyed building and painting their models. It's good to see, and I rather enjoy seeing the work in progress pictures as they come in. So thank you for that. As I said at the start of the video, there will be another group build starting sometime soon. Though at this point, neither the start date nor the subject have been decided. If you've got an idea for the next group build subject, feel free to suggest it in the Discord. When there's a few ideas, a vote will be held and we'll decide what the subject is. If you're not in the Discord already, you'll have to join that to partake, but don't worry, it's free, and the community is nice. Depending on time, I may or may not make an announcement video for the next group build, but if you're really keen, keeping an eye on the Discord is the way to be informed. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed the entries. I know I did. If you've not already done so, why not subscribe, follow, ring the bell, become a patron, or maybe just come say hi on Discord or Twitch. Links to all of my things are in the description below. And, as always, I shall return soon. So, until then, be excellent to each other, and thanks for watching. Farewell.